Welcome to the Getting Started with Avatar SDK Cloud API tutorial. We'll start with creating an Avatar SDK account. Skip this part if you already have one. Please click the Sign Up button. Then, enter your email address, password, choose a plan, and press Sign Up button one more time. Find an email from avatarsdk.com and click on the link to verify your email address. This will activate your account. Please press Sign In button and use your credentials to log in. Then, enter your personal data, like name, company details, and the platform that you're interested in. Press Proceed button. Now, let's create your application. This step is needed to set up authentication. Please type in the name of the application. The system will generate a client ID and a secret key for your account. Please check that the type of the authorization grant is the client credentials. We'll use the curl application to get access to web API. First, we need to get the authorization token to sign all the requests. We're sending a post request with our user credentials, including the client ID and the secret key. The result of the request contains the access token field that will be used for all the following requests. Find a selfie image to generate an avatar form and move it to the current folder. Let's assume that the name of the file is image.jpg. Now, let's send a post request with this image to generate an avatar. We're specifying the file name in this request and copying the authorization token from the previous request. You should wait a bit while the image is being sent to the cloud. The upload time depends on your internet connection. The result of the previous request contains an ID of the avatar. You should use this value to download the avatar and check its status. With the avatar ID, you can pull the status of the avatar computation with a GET request. Use the same access token to sign your request. Here, we can see that the current status is completed. Now, you can download the texture of the mesh to the file model.jpg. Use the same mechanism to sign the request as well as the same avatar ID. With a similar request, you can download the archive with the mesh data. In this sample, we'll save it to the mesh.zip file. Then, you can unzip it to get apply file for the avatar. You can open this file with any 3D editor, like MeshLab, with the menu item, File, Import Mesh. You can upgrade to any paid plan to remove the logo from avatars. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great time working with Avatar SDK.